Hi everyone, today we're going to review JBC's Complete Rework system. Our Complete Rework station includes a heat gun, a hotter system, a two-core unit, and an electric pump on top. The hotter unit comes with a set of different nozzles, an extractor depth system, as well as a thermocouple to offer you maximum control. In addition, our two-core system comes with two different tools, a D245 iron, a regular iron, compatible with our widest tip selection, as well as a desoldering tool for pad cleaning and through-hole desoldering. The two-core unit has 150 watts per channel, and each channel is independent, meaning you can work with two different tools to uh, two different temperatures that you will be able to draw consistent up to 150 watts per channel. In order to start working, you can just pull one of the tools and it will immediately heat up to whatever temperature you had set before. In order to adjust temperature, you can basically go up and down and hit OK to, to confirm selection. Or you can hit OK, select the temperature and move to OK and hit OK again to confirm selection. Again, I can go up and down or hit OK, select temperature and hit OK again to confirm selection. You actually have the reading of temperature coming from the thermocouple and temperature selected below. As we explained before, each channel is independent, so you can actually work with two tools at the same time. If I grab actually the desoldering tool, you will be able to see that if I move to the right and left with the right and left arrows, I'd be able to switch between one tool and the other. Now I'm on the desoldering tool. I can now again go up and down to adjust temperature on the desoldering iron, while someone else can be working with our T245 tool. When we leave the iron on the cradle, it will go to sleep or hibernation depending how that's been set up. You will press this button here to access the main menu settings. Now, under station configuration, you will be able to change the temperature, the temperature units from C to F, maximum and minimum temperature for the overall for the station. We have to say that by default, the, there is a maximum temperature set of 400 C. If for any reason you need to work at a higher temperature, I will advise to first uh, go through the menu settings once you're installing your, your system for the first time and change those settings uh, to 450 C, which is the maximum allowed for this station. In addition, if I scroll down, you will be able to set a pin code for the unit, meaning if anyone else tries to change the settings on this station, they will have to know the pin code in their order to confirm uh, the, the setting change selection. Going back and now moving to our tools settings, as I explained it before, each channel is independent, meaning each tool it can be set differently. Right now, we are at our port 2, the soldering iron. So we can adjust all the settings for our desoldering tool. If I move to the left, if I click on the left arrow, now I move to port 1, where we have our T245 connected. Here, under tool settings, I can create a temperature adjustment. I can create different temperature levels, so I can, instead of freely going up and down on temperature, perhaps I, I want to easily change between two temperatures. In order to do that, I'll turn it on just to show it to you. Uh, you can now confirm up to three different temperature levels. Now, if I go to the main menu and I confirm this and save the settings and I pick up the T245 tool, now I can easily change between these two different temperature levels that I have set without having to go up and down in temperature. It can also lock operators not being able to freely change any temperature and it also acts, it lets you access different temperatures quickly. If I go back to the main menu, 
I'll now disable these settings. So here, more importantly, you can set the sleep and hibernation delays, which are important so the iron cools down when, it, when it's not in use. So right now, the sleep delay is set to none, meaning as soon as I leave it on the cradle, it goes to sleep and drops temperature at 250 C. But because hibernation delay is set also to zero, uh, it's going to override the sleep delay and directly go to hibernation. Meaning as soon as you leave it to the cradle, instead of dropping to 150, it will go to room temperature. So hibernation means room temperature. If I scroll down to profiles, we're going to get into detail in a second, but here under profiles, you will be able to activate your southern profile, load it for your unit and select a delay to turn on that profile when running it. So now we're going to walk you through the menu and show you how to set up the southern profiles. So to set up a new southern profile, you will have to scroll down through the menu and go to profiles. We hit OK and then here you could set a maximum grade for your profile or you can basically create a new profile. It allows you to uh, select a name, I'll say test. I'll hit OK. And now you're going, you'll see that point 0.1 out of 1, it's highlighted. You're going to basically add different points at different temperatures, uh, selecting temperature and time because basically what you want to control is the temperature increase rate. So right now we're working at point 0.1 out of 1, so it's our starting temperature. We have a, st a starting temperature selected of 90C and we're going to be here for just one second at starting temperature. Then now we're adding, we're going to add a different point, point two out of two. If I want to change previous settings of a previous point, I can easily go up and down, plus or minus, to move between the different points. So right now, point two, we're going to say 120, 115, and we're going to set the time so it doesn't exceed more than 2.5 C per second. Simulating, we're working on an MLCC. Now, adding uh, an additional point, we're going to go up to 145, and we're going to do that in uh, just two seconds. Adding an extra point, uh, now we're going to go up to 180 C, 190C in just six, seven, eight seconds. Now, finally, we're going to add another point and we're going to go out to 250 and this is just a test in just a couple of seconds still so what's palatable is that you can actually check the temperature increase rate based on the temperature and time set to make sure you don't increase the maximum temperature rate allowed on and specified on the data sheet for that component. Once you have completed and added all the points for your southern profile, you will be able to move to the right here on the three bars and click on save. And once you're done, you can exit. And now we're going to go back to tool settings. So we confirmed that we want to save changes, yes. And now we're going to go to tool settings. Just keep in mind that 90% of everything that you will be setting, it's under tool settings, except for some basic overall settings for the station and southern profiles. So now we're going to access the tool settings. And now we're going to scroll all the way down where it says profiles. Now we see that it's off. We're going to turn it on and we're going to load the one that we just created. That's test. Once we do that, we'll select a start delay so it allows us enough time to place the iron on the pad uh, before it starts running the southern profile. 
Once this is done, just keep in mind that you are loading the Siren profile on a specific tool. Under tool settings, at each tool is independent. The desoldering iron will be able to run simultaneously uh, and independently without using soldering profiles now, and we will only have the soldering profiles on the T245 iron. Now, if I pick up the tool from the cradle, start running the profile. Right now, the actual to, uh, temperature for the iron is 265C, so I have to allow the unit to cool down before being able to start working. Okay, so now that it's at temperature, we can actually pick up the tool from the cradle and it's going to start counting down 10 seconds, allowing us time to place the tool on the pad before running the soldering profile. After 10 seconds, you will see that it starts running the soldering profile, auto-adjusting power to reach desired temperature following the profile. This being said, the complete rework station comes with a T245 soldering tool. In order uh, to work on soldering profiles, we especially recommend to add a tweezer set. This allows you to place solder paste on the pad and hit both sides of the component at the same time while running the soldering profile without having to use two irons. You have to keep in mind that you cannot use two irons separately running profiles at the same time. The heat gun is just as easy to set up. Now, when we're on the main menu, main interface, you will see that once one parameter is highlighted, it means you can change the value. Now, hotter temperature is highlighted, so I can go up and down and change temperature and hit OK for confirmation or I can hit OK to select the temperature and hit OK to confirm. I can use the right and left arrows to move from hotter settings to airflow settings. Now, airflow settings are highlighted and the same way I can go up and down to change the value for the air airflow rate or I can hit OK, select the airflow and hit OK again to confirm selection. In addition to these, if I move to the right again, now we can see the thermocouple temperature reading. On the unit, we have connected an external type K thermocouple. It comes with one, but you can connect to it any type K thermocouple. Right now, it's reading ambient temperature 25C and it's working on a protection mode. You will see that our unit with the thermocouple can work on a protection and regulation mode. That means that it offers you maximum control so you don't overheat the component. Working on a hotter system, it's really sensitive on how far, how close you get to the component. The closer you get, the more heat you will transfer. So it's, it's difficult to have consistency being steady uh, and always transferring the same amount of heat. By placing the thermocouple next to the component, working on protection mode, we will set a temperature. In this case, I can go up and down. Once the value on the thermocouple is highlighted, select a max thermocouple, thermocouple temperature. So in this case, we have selected 20, 75 C, meaning whenever the thermocouple reaches 75 C on protection mode, it's going to automatically shut down the unit. So protection, uh, if it reaches the temperature set for the thermocouple, it powers off the unit. We have also a regulation mode that what it does is whenever it reaches temperature, it, it's going to auto adjust the hotter temperature to make sure you don't go over whatever temperature you have set. So if I set 400 C on regulation mode, it, it's going to auto adjust regardless of the temperature I set for the hotter unit to make sure I don't go over that temperature set on the thermocouple. It does adjust temperature, it doesn't auto adjust airflow. Now, in order to change uh, the different settings for the thermocouple and change from protection to regulation, we'll have to access the main menu. So we'll click the same button to access the main menu. And now we're going to go down to tool settings as the station settings are exactly the same as the 
Chupor system settings. Now accessing the tool settings, accessing the tool settings, we're going to be able to select the tanks to stop. So it will automatically stop after 10 seconds of work, 20, 30. And here under external thermocouple mode, we can change from protection to regulation modes that have just been explained. We can also change the overall maximum temperature for the thermocouple, but remember that you can easily do that as well on the main menu. Once that thermocouple reading is highlighted, you can go up and down or hit OK, select temperature, and hit OK as well for confirmation. Then lastly, going to the main menu, now we're going to review again the Southern Profiles. The way you set Southern Profiles, it's very similar to how you do it on the Chupor system. In order to be able to work with Southern Profiles, you will have to create a Southern Profile first. We'll do that clicking on New. You can create a Southern Profile using the external thermocouple, or you can do it by following up the thermocouple located on the heating element. If you follow the hotter temperature for in order to run the southern profile, just bear in mind that you are following up the temperature uh, on the heating element. So you don't know actually how hot the component is getting. In order to offer maximum control and have a reading and regulation as close as possible from the component side, we will recommend always to use the external thermocouple. Select external thermocouple temperature. Now, the same way as before, we'll have to select a name, in this case, test. Hit OK to confirm selection. And now the only thing that you will see that is different, it's going to be that it's going to, apart from temperature and time, it's going to ask you to set an airflow rate. I'm going to set just a couple of points just as reference to show you how to lo load the soldering profile, but you can save and add as, points, as, as many points as needed. Once you have completed your soldering profile, you'll save it and now you're ready to load it and use it. We'll go to the profile menu again, and here the first option will turn it on. Once it's done, I can go back to the main menu, and now you'll see that it changed and automatically moved into profile mode. Using the thermocouple, I will attach it close, as close as possible to the component, and I'll be able to start running the soldering profile. also comes with an extractor that system, as we mentioned. You can turn on the electric pump to create suction. So the system has a suction cap that sticks to the component, so it's spring-loaded. So the main idea is that you will start working on the component. You can leave it on a fixed position as the air will circulate around the shield, protecting any adjacent component and focusing the heat on the specific component being reworked and as, as soon as it reflows the solder, it will automatically pop up the component. So that will be it for today. Thank you for watching and do not hesitate to ask us for a 30 days free demo trial.